So Asus recently released the official Android 10 beta firmware for Zenfone 5 and I was so excited to try it out. This software is based on the AOSP build. It's like a vanilla flavor of the Android 10 with not much customization available. So if you really just want to try out Android 10 with its new features and without unlocking your device just for custom ROMs, then definitely try this. To install this build, download the file from the ASUS website which is available only to WWSKUs. Make sure to back up your important files first before installing. After downloading, reboot your phone into recovery, wipe your data, then sideload the update file. After successfully installing, you'll have to follow set of steps and then you're done. Zen UI is now gone and hello to stock Android experience. Also, take note this is still in beta, so expect more changes as Asus develops this one. As to why they are not just porting the Zen UI from Zenfone 5Z or 6, here are their reasons. So to round up the new features, first, the dark mode theme, which should also make other apps into dark mode, well, except Facebook. This doesn't really help much with this phone since it's using LCD, but the feature is cool. Then, the new navigation gestures, which I personally like. Privacy and security were also bumped up with more features. You can set up specific controls on each app. Then, digital well-being is also improved with the new focus mode and parental controls. Sharing of Wi-Fi credentials through QR code is also now available. You can go over to the Android site for a list of all improvements and new features. So what else will you get? No more app bloatwares, only Google apps. There are no Asus apps left. The camera app is also different. Adaptive brightness is still there and also the fingerprint gesture where you swipe down or up to show the notification panel, which are very useful for me. Other gestures from the previous version are also present like the double tap to turn off screen or wake up. The rotate button is also now on the left side, which will not interfere with your enter button while typing. There are also less shortcuts on the quick settings panel. Battery life seems to be better. I am getting 4 hours of screen time on normal usage. Navigating through apps feels smoother and the speaker quality is still loud and clear. Overall, my impressions are great. To sum up, a stock Android experience with simple UI and the new Android 10 features, and I personally like this one over the previous Zen UI. If I'm missing something, I can just download the app from the Play Store. I'll be daily driving this offer and will share my experience in an upcoming video. That's it for now. Like this video if you like it and subscribe for more.